Well, Ken Niamatololo is the winningest football coach in the history of the Naval Academy. He was let go at the end of the 2022 season after 15 successful years. Well, that opened the door for UCLA coach Chip Kelly to hire Niamatololo as director of leadership, where he'll serve as an advisor to staff and players. Jim Hill sat down with Niamatololo to talk about his new role. Nobody wants to, wants to get let go in your job, you know what I mean? And I feel like, you know, I was at the Naval Academy 25 years. I was there almost half my life. That was hard, but I know that the Lord has something else, whatever that might be, and I'm not worried about it. I'm just here, like I said, grateful for this opportunity that Chip's given me and just trying to do the best I can. It takes an individual that has a lot of security within themselves to go out and to make a move like this. It just felt right to me. You know, like I said, it just felt right to me as he talked. And the more I, I, we talked, I said I would love, you know, I would love opportunities. So I, I came and interviewed and everything, I fell in love with the place. The more people we can have on deck that, 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 that can, um, promote what this place is all about, which is books and ball. And you talk about a guy coming from Navy, you know, that's a place that's about books and ball. So um, we're just really fortunate to have somebody of Ken's character. Your plate will be really full because you'll be talking to a lot of different people about a lot of different things. To my stuff, I feel like is more life lessons, you know, and just perspective uh, for a guy that's been in this profession 34 years, just sharing some life lessons with some of the coaches, some of the younger coaches, some of the players. And so that's kind of been my stuff, just perspective, things that maybe help them uh, in their journey here at, at UCLA, their journey in life. Life lessons are so important to the development of our young people, aren't they? Well, they're the future of our country. And football eventually is going to end. Eventually they're not going to be able to run or, or tackle or do the things that they do athletically. But the life lessons that you learn about work ethic, persevering, teamwork, overcoming adversity, all the things that you learn on a football field, on a court, all of those things, they translate. They translate to life. Just because you get older and you have your family, problems don't stop. You know, there'll be other ones and maybe things that you helped them, you know, overcome with some of the things they're going through now and hopefully help them overcome that as, as men when they grow older. We're celebrating and getting ready to celebrate Asian American History Month. This is a time when you, when people will be looking at you even closer now. Jim, I'm proud of, of, you know, my heritage. The one thing for me growing up in Hawaii that I find very similar here in California is just the diversity. And so it's been cool for me to come to California to see all the different, you know, ethnic groups. Um, but I also recognize that, you know, we're all different. Uh, but that doesn't mean that we can't be together.